and we, they've linked Crohn's disease to the antibodies for the measles shot in the intestines. We know that's way off the charts. But the doctor who was chosen to be demonized as part of a media hoax is Dr. Andrew Wakefield. And it's just like Rand Paul. He never said get rid of the Civil Rights Act. He said that private clubs should be able to have who they want. In the case of Bohemian Grove wants to be all men or there's all women clubs. Sonia Sotomayor is part of one. That's their issue. But the media ran the national hoax that uh, he is a racist with no evidence. And it's the same thing with Dr. Andrew J. Wakefield. Uh, you've got the government and the media caught putting out thousands of fake reports, fake studies, by the big pharma companies, lying and saying there were no ill effects of the H1N1, putting out fake data sheets at hospitals and clinics. Meanwhile, the, the actual insert with the H1N1 said can cause guillain can cause infertility, can be linked to cancer, can kill you. You know, that was on the insert. But the hoax was, no, none of this is true. So we're going to go to break, come back here in one minute, and, and, and go straight to Dr. Andrew J. Wakefield and his new book, Callous Disregard, Autism Vaccines, The Truth Behind a Tragedy. And because he's one of the most prominent and well-spoken doctors and works with uh, Jenny McCarthy and others, and she wrote the foreword to his book, they have chosen him as kind of a general to try to assassinate politically. And they run this hoax, knowing the public doesn't know how research is done. Um, you know, he paid people to let him do research on them. Well, that's how almost all studies are done. And so they claim that that's unethical, and it's just it's just all this made-up baloney dealing with callous uh, disregard. And, and so now they've got the headline, UK bans doctor who linked autism to vaccine. And they just imply that he's a big liar, and now vaccines are good, and it isn't six vaccines we want you to take by 18 months, it's 50 plus, and we want to give you a cancer vaccine, an HIV vaccine, an HPV vaccine that they admit's killed a bunch of people and doesn't even protect you, and basically we're going to set the precedent to forcibly inoculate you because it's all lies, Wakefield's a liar, uh, with no evidence. So you'll hear directly from the man on the other side of this break. We're honored uh, to have him here on the broadcast with us. But, uh, you know, who can deny, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, I saw four or five articles. In fact, print them again from this week. Uh, flu vaccine contaminated with live pig virus. Food and Drug Administration says it's okay. And in the article, it admits, well, it, it, it is linked to giving humans these diseases, but so what? Or... or SV40, live cancer virus in the polio vaccine. And now they admit it gave tens of millions of people cancer in the U.S. alone. But they're counting on you being ignorant. You know, they say, case closed, with no evidence, Wakefield is the devil. Roll up your sleeves, hundreds of shots. Take them, take them, take them. We'll be back. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Cal Ben Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. The question is, where should the American people draw their line in the sand? What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? A republic is based on a constitution which protects minority rights. Not democracy, not mob rule, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. So they think they own our land? 
They think they're on our water, children, our education, our money. We have to define who we are and what we will tolerate. Somebody's going to ask you what you did during the Patriot Uprising. You have been warned. We have the facts. We have the Constitution. We have the Bill of Rights. We have common law. Knowledge is power, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm so excited to be able to offer you, don't tread on me, rise of the republic. Tyranny is upon us, but liberty and the sleeping giant that is the American people is rising. A new tool in the info war. Don't tread on me. Order it at infowars.com or prisonplanet.com or call toll free 888-253-3139 and support independent patriotic liberty films. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, I want to be clear here. Without even looking every day, I see headlines like this one. Mutant polio virus spreads in Nigeria. And I see it happen in Latin America, in the Middle East, always the same UN program. Polio, the dreaded paralyzing disease stamped out industrialized world, is spreading in Nigeria, as health officials say. In some cases, it's caused by the vaccine used to fight it. That's CBS News. Weaponized. Here's another one. FDA, Glax, Merck vaccines okay despite pig virus, Reuters. And it says the viruses uh, made by GlaxoSmithKline and Merck are safe to use despite being contaminated with pig virus, U.S. health regulators said Friday. And then it goes on to admit that it can actually be linked to cancer and other health problems. Folks, this is every day. We read about, uh, well, I mean, I had Wolfgang Woodrog on th a few months ago, the head of the EU commission, a medical doctor. They got all the documents, how the big five drug companies paid off the U.S., British, and EU government heads, their doctors, to come out and say, you're all dead, it's the most deadly thing in history, hundreds of millions are going to die, take the H1N1 shot. And then his commission found it is a dangerous shot. So what's happening is they're getting decimated. They're losing their propaganda war. And so what they'll do is they'll pick out a sacrificial goat, uh, someone to basically punish publicly uh, to create a hoax so that people won't look at the masses of evidence. And here it is, UK bans doctor who linked autism to vaccine. For three years, they have savagely lied about him, misrepresented what he's done, uh, and, 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 and now they've, uh, you know, taken his medical license in England. He's a British surgeon who lives in Austin, by the way. Researcher, best known for his work regarding MMR vaccine and, uh, its connection with autism and inflammatory bowel disease. And, uh, just a few days ago, he lost his medical license in the UK, but he's already moved here. His new book is Callous Disregard, Autism and Vaccines, The Truth Behind the Tragedy. And uh, you can get the book in bookstores everywhere. It's forwarded by Jenny McCarthy. Uh, so we go to uh, Dr. Uh, Andrew Wakefield now to uh, get the truth from him. Sir, thank you for coming on with us. Alex, thank you very much. Great pleasure. And uh, thank you very much for your supportive words. You bet. Now, now just give us the backstory, your awakening, the studies you did, which are backed up by a bunch of other studies, I would add now. And, uh, and then how they've tried to crucify you as a case point example. I will, and I'll try and be brief, Alex. We, I am a, a, a mainstream academic gastroenterologist working in London. May 1996, uh, parents, sorry, 95, parents started calling me and saying my kid was normal. They had this vaccine, MMR, and they lost their skin.
skills, they lost eye contact, they didn't want to play, they couldn't speak anymore, and they became autistic. And I said, I'm sorry, you must have got the wrong number because I'm a gastroenterologist. They said, my kid has got terrible bowel problems, diarrhea 12 times a day, they're in terrible pain, they're banging their head against the wall, I know they're in pain, they're bloated. And the doctor says, your kid's autistic, they're bound to have these problems. That doesn't make any sense at all. So we investigated these children and they had a bowel disease. So we did our duty, our clinical duty, to put the children before anything else and investigate them, and we found they had a treatable bowel disease, which the medical profession had ignored previously. Now, the problem came is when the parents said and that my child regressed after a vaccine. If the child had regressed after natural chicken pox, people would have found that fascinating, and you and I wouldn't be having this conversation now, but because 